Hello everyone, today we're meeting again with Authentica's UX design experts, Elvira and Grzegorz, to discuss the hottest topic in the journalistic world recently, the AI. But we'll not limit ourselves to chat GPT or similar uh, platforms. We'll dive deeper into AI features that might help media professionals in the editorial process. And for the past months, we've seen a lot of huffing and puffing about ChatGPT and other platforms that can help journalists. We've heard about newsrooms already leveraging the power of AI to produce more uh, reports and run interviews to translations. And it's rather certain that AI tools will blend into the workflow of the media. But content creation is just one of many areas where they can be useful. And what's even more important, newsrooms can have custom-built tools that will make people's work more effective. Am I right? I'm glad you brought up this topic. Um, as a matter of fact, we've been working on some design concepts to test uh, how AI solutions could be incorporated into our publishing back-office projects. So we have focused our efforts on solutions that already exist and can be used or adopted even and that's why our concepts are more practical than academic. That's our only way to be completely sure of how given AI idea can be used or repurposed in the newsroom work. Let's start today with one of the basic journalistic tasks, the ideation process for news stories. How can AI help in this particular flow? A common problem for journalists and publishers is finding topics that readers like to read and share. What can help here are tools that can summarize the latest news from uh, different sources. Uh, they can also identify which content is the most popular and uh, again engaging for users. A journalist looking for topics can narrow search results to specific countries and topics and uh, also look for topics in uh, social media. An interesting feature is the display of article sentiment. It can tell, you, uh, tell us how people react to given story, whether they consider it positive or negative, and what emotions it trigger in readers. On the other hand, there may be situations where you know what you want to write about, but you lack hard evidence to support your topic, right? Uh, in such cases, you can use an AI curated data aggregator to gather supporting materials from the other sources. This approach can help fortify a topic. It's something similar to what Elvira mentioned, but in a more specific context. Uh, have a look at this. By having a clear topic, you can generate more detailed results, right? Additionally, when trying to find social proof for a planned topic, it's important to consider whether it's a hot and trendy case in social media, or if no additional materials can be found, it may suggest that the topic is not attractive to the audience and could be considered as a cold case for journalists. Once we have a topic, we can think of giving it a structure. It's where AI can help with content creation. In which ways? One of the most basic and well-known uses of AI is text writing. Uh, we can generate a paragraph based on a single sentence as well as a brief. Very often, we can also specify the parameters of the text we want, such as text length, style like formal or informal. Paraphrasing is also an interesting option. We can change the content of the text without affecting the meaning. Using different sentence structures in uh, your writing can offer several benefits. Firstly, it can help make your articles more interesting and engaging for the readers. By modifying your sentence structure, you can avoid the problem of having background paragraphs that always sound the same. Secondly, using different sentence structure can help prevent plagiarism. We've adapted an algorithm for creating summaries within the article editor. Okay, so Imagine the situation where at the end of the writing an article, you have to write small abstract that will be placed at the beginning of the story. Writing a summary can be really tedious and repetitive. So that's where exactly AI will come in handy. It will write a summary for you based on your text, whether you want it as a paragraph or listed bullet points for better clarity. 
Um, now a different story. You know that sometimes a journalist has to write a rather dull text based on some external data, right? Uh, will it be a repost of something seen on the Twitter or have your stuff like uh, creating financial report based on the latest stock market data? And the latter one is more challenging. So we try to handle it within one of our projects. In fact, the whole process was to find and feed the tool with financial data source and let the AI do its job of analyzing the data, connecting it with the latest market and financial news from the platform and writing the report with all the dots connected. Sounds good, right? Sounds really great. What about supporting better SEO writing? Mechanisms supporting SEO writing have long been in the market, right? They are not typical AI tools, but they can greatly help in creating high clickable content on the topic you might not be familiar with. But we believe that in the near future, such tools can be supported by AI algorithms to speed up the process and receive better results. Writing Google optimized articles usually look like this. An editor type a keyword into a search engine and analyze the articles that rank highest in the search results. Currently, this work can be done for us by AI. When we enter a keyword for us in software, we get suggested number of words, paragraphs, and headings. We will uh, also get a list of suggested keywords to use in the article and how many times we should use them. Today, not all newsrooms hire photo editors. Illustrating an article is often a task of the person who writes the text. So how can photo editing tasks be automated with AI? And how can this technology improve the quality of images used in news stories? Okay, so we know the stories about journalists that spend as much time on photo searching as on article writing, right? Finding a good picture that will correspond to the text is not only the whole job. You have a license issues, usage limitations, endless digging through metadata and keywords on uh, digital asset managers, the, all of those can drive many crazy. Now ask yourself, why can't I have a picture that I really imagine for the text? I have a futuristic car with huge wheels in my mind. So be it. It doesn't matter that this kind of picture doesn't exist. And AI will draw it for you based on the simple description. And what's even better, this picture can be customized to match the tone and style of the article. That will result in more visually appealing and engaging content that captures the reader's attention. And it's not a surprise that today's crazy popular mid-journey does that kind of stuff without a hassle. It's interesting to see how it develops. Also, in the context of copyrights and public image of people. Now let's move on to another example uh, in the context of photo editing, okay? Um, we are all familiar with those sci-fi vision from a TV series where you can zoom in on a picture limitlessly without losing quality. You know what I'm saying? It may seem irrational, but with today's algorithms, this is becoming a reality. Tasks such as sharpening or denoising pictures after significant zoom can now be done with ease and provide high quality results. What's more, uh, these tools can remove an object or a person from a picture, filling the gap with just a few clicks, right? Without leaving an actual editor. Sometimes it happens that the subject of articles are people who have committed a crime and their faces need to be anonymized. Instead of asking graphic designer to anonymize faces, we can use AI algorithm will help us detect the face and apply appropriate fil filters such as blur, black rectangles, etc. We can build all these features inside our back office system. This uh, can only include featured journalists and editor use, not those typically found in graphic editors. Going further with the news lifecycle, we have sourced the topic, we have written the news and have generated a picture with some help from AI. Can we now use technology to detect plagiarism or check facts in the story? Well, why not? Uh, with the increasing demand for unique and fresh content, plagiarism is a big no-no in the industry. To avoid any issues with the plagiarism, 
many journalists and editors have been using anti-plagiarism tools for quite some time. Um, but in the recent years, the rapid growth of AI-powered tools such as Grammarly or Copyscape has made the process much more efficient. These AI-powered tools use advanced algorithms to scan the text and compare it with a vast database of online sources like uh, articles, uh, research papers and other publications to identify any instance of plagiarism. The tools can quickly flag any potential issues and help journalists to revise their content before publication, right? Uh, using these tools not only saves time, but also helps to build trust with readers who expect basically accurate and reliable information. And suppose we are writing a text about politics and we want to be sure who the Minister of Education was in 2000. AI already makes it possible to check if the name of the person we used is correct. If we make a mistake, it will point us to the fact. It will also provide us with the source of this information. What are other areas the AI can still surprise us in? Any novelties in the topic? We know how important video is these days. This is also where AI can strongly support video work in the newsroom. Let's say you have an object or person in the recording that you want to remove. You can now do this in a very quick and easy way with an, with an eraser. Also removing the background used to take hours. Today, you can do it with a few clicks. You can also replace it with a new one. Many video editing options that used to require speci specialist knowledge, we can now easily do using AI. Another topic worth mentioning is the creation of transcription for videos. Thanks to new tools, it only takes a few minutes to create high quality written content from an audio or video file. And you can go further with those ideas. Suppose for a moment that you are a journalist, right? Whose job is to deliver an article and create a short video material. Uh, something that is very popular nowadays that uh, resembles the animated presentation slide. It seems simple, but starting with a scenario creation, searching for stock footage and combining them in video editing tool can be a really hectic job, right? Um, now. There are tools available in the market that can take your written article and transform it into finished video material. The only thing you need is to provide text, determine the video style, tone of voice, maybe add some keywords, by the way, and voila, you have a video ready to attach to your material. Well, video materials are very popular these days and in the future, it won't be any different. However, producing engaging video content such as uh, video blogs or live streams can be a challenging task for presenters and journalists. Endless editing, multiple takes, changing scripts, all this costs time, money and stress. The good news is uh, that AI algorithms have made significant progress in assisting with video production. Do you remember the hype for lip sync videos, right? So there is something similar. AI can synchronize a voiceover with pre-made video. Although this technology was initially developed uh, for animated movie industry, it has now become available as a streamlined tool for everyday publishing work. Thank you so much for those insights. We can see that AI tools can mean more than just text and image generators. And if you want to discuss other AI features Authentica can build for you, reach out.